minimal performance that we get out of this very small amount of insulation. Filling right here. Exactly. Is, is negligible uh, when we consider the effect of, of stagnant air. This is not a lot of insulation. You're not going to be able to do a great job with it anyway. It, it's so small that we can't actually measure the difference in performance. It's, uh, you'd have to use tracer gas. It would, be, <laughs> it would be very, very difficult to actually study this. Even if you were model, our, we can model it with a computer, but we don't even know what to tell the computer to do. This is, we're talking about very, very differences, very small differences in thermal performance here. And we don't want to risk, for such a tiny incremental benefit, we don't want to risk inhibiting drainage. So keep our priorities straight. Exactly. Water first, um, air, air second, second, and then thermal, that heat transfer last. Exactly. And, and keep in mind, too, so not only is this stagnant air that, that's a pretty good insulator in and of itself, but particularly residentially, we're, we're using non-conductive materials here. So we've got wood, which is a pretty good insulator in and of itself, and wood framing. This is not a big discontinuity that we're really, that we're really dealing with. The, there are, I could give you a dozen more important things to, to worry about when, when you're trying to improve thermal performance. Um, air sealing the rest of your home, for example. Yeah, yeah. Add more attic insulation. Right. This is not but the uh, low-hanging fruit. This is not the low-hanging fruit. Gotcha, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.